Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Matt and it is Wild Wednesday. First and foremost, I do hope each and every one of you are having a great morning, evening, dawn, day or dusk, all that lovely stuff because life really is too short as is. Please do like, share and subscribe. I love seeing each and every one of you every Monday through Friday, permitting my schedule and of course major holidays. I got, like yesterday, uh, uh, got a little out of hand with the schedule and I was unable to do a review for you guys, so... I uh, hopefully you guys are are okay with that. Um and then also do me a huge favor and check out the the uh, information in the description box. I got your brief synopsis, your starring cast, runtime of the cut I'm watching, director, MPAA rating if there is one that exists, which let's face it folks, most of the time most of the movies I review do not have one. And then I have either a link for a trailer or a scene from the movie itself. It is very very rare when I do not have have one or the other. Um, I try to give you a little bit of a bigger bite of the of the daily film to maybe it'll help you decide if you want to uh, track down a copy or or stream it or do whatever it is you do to watch the watch movies. Uh, maybe it'll help help uh, give you a uh, it'll give you a bigger bigger taste so you want to see it. Because today's is really good. It is 39 years old now. It's hard to believe. It is none other. This came out in 1982. It is none other than Frank Henenlotter's Basket Case. Yes, folks. This is a absolute beast of a movie. As you can see, I have double dipped it and I have both the DVD and the, the Blu-ray. This is the 20th anniversary DVD from um, Something Weird Video. I believe it is a... Let me double check on it real quick. I believe it, it's a DVD-R. Nope, it's an actual standard pr issue pressed DVD on that one. So, the if you don't want to get upgrade to the the Arrow Blu-ray, you can get this. It does have an audio commentary track, uh, a couple other little features in there. Nothing of uh, uh, that uh, can touch the Arrow Blu-ray that I'm about to show you, folks. Um, the, it is the this one right here. The Arrow Blu-ray is absolutely stunning, and they did a, a very very good job with this one. Uh, like I said, here you see it's from Arrow. I'm going to set down that something weird one real quick. Um, it is a standard issue pressed Blu-ray, just to let you know. It does have a reversible artwork with uh, with that newly commissioned type stuff right there. I'm not really too hip on it, so I went with the old original artwork on that. Um, I do not have the snazzy slipcover one with it, but uh, that is perfectly okay. Um, it is, uh, unfortunately, Arrow... It, it and MVD have decided to go with the ugly blue cases, so they're they're um, uh, coming in that now instead of the old cool cool looking clear cases. So if you if you're not keen on the uh, blue disc Blu-rays, blue cases, you're going to be disappointed. I, I definitely was in my when I when I when when I got these in the mail, I was a little bummed. Now, what do we have on there for special features for that Arrow one? It has a ton of stuff. There's a couple hours worth of information on there. There's a making of featurette that's like an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, there is a basket case three and a half, which is uh, Dwayne Bradley, our character played by Kevin Van Hittenreich. Um, he he replaces his role of Dwayne, and uh, there it's basically this... Um, documentarian crew is come and they're in or they found where 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 both uh Dwayne and Blyle are living the Bradley boys where they're living uh, and they have they're doing an interview and in the middle of the or the end of the interview uh uh Belial happens to attack them and blah, blah blah blah, whatever. It's a fun little little feature. I think it's like like ten minutes long, if that. Uh, you do have a uh, another interview with Kevin Van Hittenreich, um that is uh, um, out of character, which is a very good one. He talks about uh, the dual personalities that both him and Belial have, and and uh, how they exist as one being together. Um, it's very interesting, and it talks about how uh, you can notice little things here and there after you rewatched it over and over and over again. That that show his different when Dwayne is is in um, Belial mode, and when Dwayne is in Dwayne mode because Dwayne is is 
is even keel, nice, good, middle of the road, good guy. Uh, not a not a villain or anything like that. But anyways, um, as far as other special features go, you do have a Q and A session with um, with uh, Frank Hennenlauter, uh, Beverly Bonner, Kevin Van Hittenreich. Uh, I can't remember who else is is the two twins, the uh, the the twin nurse twins. Uh, they're on there. They have a nice little interview with them, which is fun, uh, and they talk about their joy of working with their their uncle. Uh, 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 Frank Hannelauder, he almost said Kevin. Frank Hannelauder working with their uncle, uh, which was always fun. Uh, uh, there's a bunch of other stuff on here. There's some of the special features from this one that have poured it over onto this as well. So it is packed to the gills. Like I said, there's a couple hours worth of um, uh, entertainment and just special features alone. So if you are a fan of Basket Case, pick up this Arrow Blu-ray. It is the definitive release and it's probably the best it will ever ever look because it, it let's just face it folks um this one here was a, a, a film to tape transfer and this one here is a film transfer so it is a very very um uh, pristine look to this one it's it's got the nice little grain to it where it's supposed to be it, and it just it, glo it has that glossy shine like it's supposed to be not that waxy feel like some of the um uh uh, uh, the p labels some labels do when they cut corners you know uh, they actually went out of their way and did a, a top notch job with that now eh, that I got that out of the way what exactly is this movie about um, it's about a guy named Dwayne and his brother named Belial uh, you start off with with um, uh, the you, you, Dwayne is going after uh, a doctor, a, a doctor person by the, I forget exactly what the doctor's name is, but um, he has stopped by his office and he was going and he's basically going through everything he can to make an appointment. And um, uh, what's her name? I think it was Susan uh, Terry Susan Smith plays the uh, receptionist for this doctor. And she is, at the time, she was in a punk rock band and she had a shaved head. And she was wearing a very noticeable wig throughout the entire film. Um and, but she has some great boobs. You get to see them in here. I was I was quite pleased. But either way, um, she he's work trying to like talk her into getting him an appointment. She eventually is like, oh yeah yeah, I, I'll just say you called ahead, even though the doctor's um, office is completely empty. Per, uh, you know, there's not a soul in there. Um, he is kind of just a, a wacky kind of quack doctor it seems like um, you find out what their connection is and and they go back later that night and, and they kill him um, Belial kills him and you find out why and and he, they're going after these other these other two doctors these surgeons that because Belial and Dwayne were attached at one point they were conjoined twins and they removed removed them from each other because they did not share any any bone structure or any organs together. They they just shared uh, tissue and flesh stuff like that. So they they uh, um, are able to remove him without any like huge problems, other than than. Um, uh, Dwayne has one hell of a scar on his side. Uh, it, it, it's a uh, um, very very. Uh, um, hokey looking but it's still it's 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 effective um but you find out that that he's going after these people um in the process he he's met this this uh, uh secretary who has basically thrown herself at him and has asked him everywhere if he's gone and visited anything in the city uh she basically makes herself a a running tour guide for him just so she can get closer to him because she likes him whatever um 
now Dwayne when he when he goes when he leaves he goes to check out in this seedy uh, shady little shitty hotel that you can either do by the hour by the day or by the week um, uh, rental situations so it, it's kind of a skeezy place so so if you're if you if you're kind of um, visualizing that it's it's your typical um, East Coast New York trashy uh, 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 um, apartment co or not apartment co complex but a, a hotel complex alright so he, he gets himself a room there for him and Belial uh, he goes off and gets them some food blah 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 uh, they, then they go back and they kill that other doctor and then in the process they steal files to find out where the third doctor is because they've already killed the first one uh, they've just killed their second and now they're going for their third um while while things are going on, there's a lot of there's a neighbor that is very snoopy and is pe is uh, peeping through through Dwayne's keyholes. Uh, he at one point even attempts to steal money, and and Belial takes things into his own hand, uh, into his own hands. Um, uh, Belial is definitely the aggressor. Uh, Dwayne is the pacifist. They're they're complete the complete yin and yang together um but uh uh where was i going um this guy he, he's shady he keeps he tries stealing stuff from him uh he he's constantly watching what what Dwayne is doing and things like that uh you have this other lady that he is interacting with played by beverly bonner uh who is a uh um uh i believe she's a lady of the night kind of girl um either way she has a lot of a lot of male suitors and at one at one point, you get to see um, both both her and him cut loose in a bar, and you see him kind of like dropping the ball, on, essentially on what's in the basket. And you know why is he carrying the basket everywhere? Oh, what's in the basket? That's what everybody's question questions are. It, from from is it the a typewriter repair kit to uh, is it clothes? Is it what is it? You know what are you keeping? in there you know it's one of those things and he's slipping up and telling her oh it's my brother it's my brother Belial and this and that she's weirded out uh, they eventually go back home she helps him get back into his apartment and then eventually um, you go to her apartment and Belial has made his way in there and he gets a little handsy with her and she freaks out like any normal person would um you know, and it, that's the kind of interaction she, he has. Like at one point, he goes after the the uh, nurse, and he slashes or the uh, receptionist, and he's like like handling fondling her while she's asleep, because uh, apparently she slept naked, which well, I, I was okay with that. Um, what else do we got going? on? There's lots and lots and lots of stuff going on here. There's a magical scene where Dwayne goes running through the streets of New York, absolutely butt naked, or Tribeca. I believe is where they filmed that at. Um, uh, uh, luckily, there was nobody around to um, uh, uh, call the police on them because they were definitely filming guerrilla style, where they had no film film uh, uh, permits or anything of that nature, which it, it really shows. But um, that's what makes it so much fun. And this budget, you never you never know it, but they made it for like I think he said three hundred and fifty thousand or thirty five thousand. Uh, uh, let me double check real quick. I had uh, I can't remember. Move your butt. Sorry, my dog is is uh, deciding he wants to push things over and be a part of the video. Either way, uh, fun movie. Uh, how would I rate this one? Um, on a 1 through 5 scale for a technical side, I would say this thing is a 4 out of 5. The character development works. There's never... It, it's. I'd say the first 10 minutes of it, you're, when you're first trying to get uh, uh, the feel for Dwayne's character, um, that's that's kind of when it, it, it's kind of slow, but it's easy easy to get past because once you hit that 15-minute marker, it, it, it picks up and it has a nice speed going along all throughout 
throughout the entire film. Uh, it never never really lags. Um, you have all these just just brilliant scenes. You got a scene where somebody tries to steal Belial, or at least the basket that Belial is in. Uh, he gets himself nice and slashed up. Um, you got uh, uh, all kinds of stuff going on here. I, I really hope that you guys go out of your way and check out Basket Case. I believe it's on Shudder if memory serves me correct. So if you folks have Shudder, uh, it might even be on Tubi. I, I'm I've been surprised on a lot of the stuff Tubi carries. Um, it's it's quite an impressive uh, uh, movie app. Um, just quality is just kind of shitty though. Uh, anyways, but that's not neither here nor there. Um, now, as far as an entertainment side goes, this thing is probably a 4 out of 5. Again, this is like a 7 or an 8 out of 10 kind of movie, in my opinion. Uh, this is one that you could watch with just about anybody that um, doesn't get offended by nudity, um, especially full frontal male nudity, because, like I said, there's that scene with uh, Dwayne running through the streets of Tribeca um, completely naked, and, and you do notice through that he doesn't have his scar, um, and they, they, they talk about that in the special features about how that is Belial basically thinking he's Dwayne at that moment because Belial pretty much controls everything Dwayne does. Uh, Belial is able to speak to Dwayne through, uh, tele telepathically he's uh i almost said telekinetically telepathically so so you don't have to go through any misconstrued jumbled jargon when he talks because he screams when he does open his bow uh, open his mouth it's it's screams and grunts and groans and things like that um very very uh uh um ar archaic in ways on how he acts very primordial all right, guys, um, I think I've said enough about this one. I'm going to go ahead and roll the hell out of here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow. I got a, a, a gem lined up, one that I've always loved, uh, always love watching, and it is uh, one you'll never forget. All right, guys.